Hello, everybody. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Uh, so today I want to kind of go over uh, my Learin board. So um, this isn't really a tutorial on how to use Learin board. I'm all up for teaching you guys if you want it, but there's a lot of really great tutorials out there, and I feel like I'll just be reiterating them. I do kind of want to go over my Illyrian board, my stream deck, and what I use in my streams every day, kind of tour it. Uh, so yeah, so here we go, here we go. The, the my Illyrian board. <laughs> so over here, the I have a start and stop recording. Um, I really don't use these as much, but they're there in case I want to. Um, and over here. I have a start and stop camera. What this is, is the virtual camera. When I am streaming, I have a Discord server stream simultaneously to the Discord server to let everyone in the Discord server know uh, that I am streaming uh, um, and to join me on YouTube or Twitch, depending on where I'm streaming to that day. Uh, save replay. I actually don't use this too much, but I do try to make use of it where I can. It's a great way to just hit a button and instantly save. Uh, the replay that's going on. Uh, so I stream mainly on Twitch, but I also stream on YouTube. And so I have a button that can toggle. I have overlays built specifically for Twitch and overlays built specifically for YouTube. They are both in stream elements, um, powered by stream elements, uh, like a height jar and um, overlays and stuff like that. And so obviously I want the right kind of setup depending on where I'm streaming to. And this toggles the sources on and off. Over here, this is a create marker button specifically for Twitch. So when I go to make highlights and stuff, um, I'll be able to see a, a marker. And then I have over here, I can take a, a screenshot and save it to a folder with an OBS screenshot button. And it takes a screenshot of the whole entire output. This right here is, is not really used. Um, it is actually mainly for my cell phone. So uh, my cell phone doesn't have any kind of hardware buttons apart from my power button. So it makes it very difficult to exit uh, the phone. So what I do here is I just swipe down um, up here and it gives me a, a place to kind of, uh, to kind of swipe. Um, so I'm not actually pressing buttons trying to get the, the menu to pop down so I can press the button and go there. Yeah, I have a Pixel, the Pixel phone. <laughs> Now, a lot of streamers will have an arrow back and forth, like up here or over here or somewhere. I actually don't like that. I like to be able to go to any page from anywhere. So I have multiple pages. Um, and yeah, so these are the pages. And basically, there you go. See, um, I just like that better. So over here, you can see that I have um, the scenes. I don't, again, I don't use this too much just because I like to use studio mode. I use a lot of uh, overlays on my stream and they take time to load uh, because it's having to load uh, multiple web sources. And so I've noticed that if I'm not careful, really careful of these, um, it actually will just uh, ignore studio mode and switch directly the output directly to one of these. And so you guys will see a black screen with content slow, slowly loading. And I don't really like that. Um, so I, I, but I use them sometimes. You have to be really kind of careful and know how to keep it within studio mode. Um, and over here I have the uh, trans easy transition button. So what I sometimes will do is load up um, the be right back scene and the game scene, because these are mainly the only two I use. Um, and then with those loaded up, I can hit this button to transition between them. Um, and again, you notice this is exact same overlay there. The, exact same number of rows and columns and this button is exactly the same and these buttons are exactly the same it just keeps things very consistent um and then over here this is actually one of my favorites i have a lot of effects uh, <laughs> so um these effects affect they used to affect um the whole uh all the the theme the, the overlay and everything uh, but they don't really do that anymore um simply because now that i stream on twitch and youtube it's um it makes it very very complicated i have a lot of different sources i have to toggle and so i don't want to apply effects to all of those sources it just gets to be a lot 
So it only applies to the camera. Um, however, all of these are basically drag. So I have the normal effect. I have the red effect, the green, the teal, the blue, the black and white. Aha. And then I have an effect slider. So these are all individual sources that toggle. You notice that when I click one, it also clicks this up here. Um, this is an old way of doing it. I'm actually going to replace it in the future because I've learned how to how to just reslide. It is what it is. Is I'm I'm doing a color correction, a hue, color correction, um, and so these are preset sources that make me look red, green, teal, blue, or black and white. Um, but this one actually is its own thing, and so what it does is it, it toggles all of them off. This is the toggle all off and then toggle only the one I want on and again it's an old way of doing it because it's much better to just change a single source than to have multiple predefined sources it's like an old way of I used to do it uh, but yeah you can actually just drag these see isn't that cool <laughs> I'm just clicking and dragging and I can do that on I have my Android phone on me and so uh, when I'm streaming and my Android phone, I can just is basically exactly what you see here. So the effect slider is the new way to do it. And it's going to replace the old preset ways to do it. The new way to do it, you notice when I click these, it's actually not clicking this up here. And like I said, um, unlike these, which are separate sources, which not sources, filters, filters. I'm sorry. I mean, filters. Unlike these, which are separate filters on one source, um, these over here change a single filter without having to go to different, um, you know, having a lot of different filters. Anyway, so yeah, and so with this, I'm changing just that one filter. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And so I can just kind of like do this. <laughs> and chat loves it when I do this. <laughs> Um, and so in the future, I will make these also change just that one, uh, that one filter. Now this over here is a special one. This is, uh, it basically is just also just, an, it's just a filter. It's just a second filter. Um, it sits on top because I am a local goddess. <laughs> it basically makes me glow. Um, so basically glow button, uh, Twitch actually has, uh, Twitch um, can do point redemptions or uh, bit redemptions on on these right here. And I don't really have a bit redemption or point redemption for uh, these yet, but I'm definitely planning on doing that in the future. Uh, but yeah, uh, basically, that looks really pretty. It looks really ethereal. Um, yeah, that's all it is. That's all this is. So, um, and this uh, basically just cranks up the contrast and cranks up the brightness. And I don't know, I played around with it to make me look kind of washed out, really bright and washed out. That's really all it is. <laughs> Timers, this is for when, um, actually I, I used, I originally the point of this was to kind of tell me when to stop. So Twitch can redeem certain things like, uh, make me add Nya at the end of every sentence Nya. And then I have these buttons over here Nya. The chat can redeem Nya, right Nya? <laughs> um, but no, the, uh, so, but now these are actually automated. So I don't actually have to do anything at all. This will actually post in Twitch chat they'll actually post in Twitch chat uh, when when I should start seeing ya and when I should uh, stop seeing ya. The, um, so I don't really have to go to here too much. I have noticed a, a slight bug where uh, if I'm not in this page and, and someone redeems ya and I go over here to see the how much time is left it actually is like a little bug it actually won't tell me it'll just be grayed out so it's a little bit annoying but i'm sure they'll fix that uh cameras I actually want to expand on this some more okay so for some reason i'm actually going to have to do this on my cell phone that's so weird i wonder why um but yeah so i have my cell phone connected to it 
All right, so you're going to see the buttons being pressed, but you're not going to see my mouse cursor. The, I have, um, I can have the, I have certain cameras and I definitely am trying to add more. I just don't know what to add. So we have a tiny camera. Chat likes to play with this because I'm really short. So chat likes to play with this and call me a pixie. Um, and then we have the normal camera. Uh, and then we have the off chair camera. So this is kind of like me off the chair and I'm like, and I'm like more facing the game and everything. It's kind of cool. Uh, and then we have the upside down camera, which is kind of funny. <laughs> uh, no one's really used this one yet, but it's really kind of funny. Uh, yeah. And so that's really that. I wonder if over here we have, um, the uh the different faces that i can make you have the fun face and the angry face and the joy face and the sad face uh the shock face the cr uh, cross face which is actually uh not cross anymore it's just like the like the dizzy face <laughs> Uh, we have these are special new faces that I've recently added. I'm actually going to add some more because there's a lot of fun. Uh, the cheek puff. This puffs out both my cheeks. It might be kind of hard to see. The crazy face. <laughs> uh, the, I actually don't really use this one at all. Um, in fact, Twitch probably doesn't even, in chat probably doesn't even know about it. Um, the tongue out. Actually, I, I just don't like it. I don't like it as much. And then we have the, the dark face. All right. And then, um, let me show you. Uh, hand fire is a little bit weird because it, it's not a face, but at the spur of the moment, I don't know where to put it. Let me re-enable hand tracking here. Okay, so we have the hand fire. Whoa. Whoa. And then... <laughs> <gasps> yep, uh, that is hand fire. Isn't that really cool? Okay. Let's see. We have the glasses. The toggle of the crown. The angel wings. The cat ears. It works better with the, the crown on. <laughs> um let's see the fairy wings and the neck headphones uh and these actually will work um if you change the colors we can go back here um we can go back here and we can change the color to different colors so you can see how it is really kind of cool um and then the effects slider. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually using my cell phone right now to control this. Okay, so let's see here. Chat, uh, this this is definitely a lot. So, emote on um, there. These are mostly point redemptions over here. So, if someone redeems a um, uh, a point redemption, it'll um, or a bit redemption it'll announce it in chat that it was redeemed and it's mainly because um bit redemptions are a little bit more complicated to keep track of on twitch uh so point redemption is pretty easy if someone redeems a point i can see right away what was redeemed and it goes into a request queue but for bit redemptions uh, no such thing happens it's all um it's all not there so for bit redemptions i have to this helps me it, it drops a message in chat telling me exactly what was redeemed so i don't have to remember what what bit number bits amount of bits goes to what um thing like the program keeps track of that and it just tells me what was selected um and that's mainly what these are this over here polaroid screenshot and polaroid screenshot points these is and also this over here they kind of uh, they kind of work together. It's a Polaroid animation that another uh, YouTuber made. Um, a very famous YouTuber um, makes a lot of 
makes a lot of really great content on Lear and Board, and I happened to follow the tutorial. Really loved it, and I gave a shout out to him on, on my Twitter, for sure. Um, so yeah, basically it takes a screenshot. I'm actually not sure if it'll Oh, so cool. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And, and they uh, Twitch can actually um, write messages on there and they can everything. It's a lot of fun. Um, OBS screenshot camera. That's basically the Polaroid screenshot, um, but a lot less fancy. It just literally just takes a picture of me exactly how you see it. The camera output, it doesn't do anything fancy like uh, the Polaroid would do. In the game, it just captures a screenshot of whatever game that I'm playing and streaming. That's all it does. Um, in game, this is actually the most boring thing I'll rarely go into. Um, BGB Fast, it's mainly there for for Twitch chat uh, to speed up the the game that I might be playing. Uh, for like 10 seconds or something. It's really, that's really all it is. Uh, but yeah, um, and you can see there's a lot of consistency. I, I know exactly what what button what page could go where i can click the page directly you know i don't really use all this stuff but i'm always making a lot of changes and i'm always changing things um and adding new stuff and there's um uh yeah um that's really it that's really everything yeah this this is kind of how i do it um and of course everyone does it different uh layer and board is just so personal setup it's just really uh layer and board is just so personal to set up and um but this is what works best for me and i it may be inspirational to you it might help you out i i think we need more uh like walkthroughs of how people have their setup i've actually thought about going through all the effort of adding images and stuff to mine i mean just because why not because you can i thought about doing that it would really help me um but yeah when i first started layer and board i actually didn't do any of that when i first started layer and board this is all it was this is literally all it was when I first started Leon board. There was, there was one button in the upper right hand corner that Twitch could use to speed up speed up the game. And that was it. That that was it. That was that was all for like <laughs> at least like two weeks I was just Leon on board. Um the it that was everything. <laughs> but you can see how much it's really grown and it's just there's so much cool stuff. Um <sighs> and yeah so um yeah i i hope you like this video and i hope you find it helpful and thank you so much for watching